The devastation across the coast of southwest Florida is unimaginable. In Fort Myers, debris litters the landscape where Hurricane Ian's Cat 4 winds and record storm surge ravaged the landscape. But just 15 miles away, barely any sign of damage. We'd see some shingles down and some little trees uprooted and a few other big trees sort of toppled over, but that was almost tornadic feeling than anything else. Nancy Chorpenning and Paul McCreary live in Babcock Ranch, a master planned community that touts itself as the country's first solar powered town. We are currently standing at one of the entrances to the Babcock Ranch solar farm. This is a little over 700 acres and I have been told there's like 15,000 or so panels here. Hurricane Ian landed a debilitating blow to South Florida's leading utility, FPNL. At one point, over 2.6 million customers were left without electricity. But in Babcock Ranch, we had all our utilities. We were watching it on television. That 700 acre solar farm powered this community throughout the storm, thanks to underground power and fiber optic lines. Our houses were designed to handle category four, even below five. We're supposed to be able to handle up to 150 miles an hour. The homes here sit 30 feet above sea level, relatively unheard of in Florida. Part of the master plan includes neighborhoods designed to steer floodwaters down roads and away from homes. We were really, really grateful to have the advanced planning for this community. This definitely was the proof of concept event. Even though their home withstood the test of Hurricane Ian, Nancy and Paul say riding out the storm was an experience like none other. I can now mark off, you know, having gone through a Category 4 hurricane and don't want to do it again. 